Do uh, I do I have to have a legal entity in the UK to be able to IPO no. in the London name? No. So we have companies that are have well, incorporation all over the world. We have UK PLCs clearly, but we also have US Inks, Delaware incorporated companies typically. Uh, but we also have companies from other offshore um, um, kind of jurisdictions, Channel Islands, um, also you know the Caribbean. Uh, we have companies from those kind of places. Usually what drives that is actually more of a tax driven conversation rather than listing. Mm. Now from a from an accounting point of view, US, the US inks that we have use US GAAP to list our name. Um, the ones who aren't usually will be using more often than not IFRS, but well, there are a number of other gaps that we will accept. But usually we see US GAAP or IFRS are the two that we see. But um, the incorporation usually isn't, isn't really an issue, although I would say it would be odd if you had a company, a Costa Rican incorporated company would be an odd choice really to float because people would say, okay, I really need to understand the legal environment. What, what's the company law environment in Costa Rica? And most investors probably wouldn't know that. Mm. I think they, would, they may do when it comes to larger companies, in, sorry, larger countries in Latin America, say Argentina or Brazil, they could probably understand that environment much better, or Mexico as an example. But even then, you typically, and this also counts for US IPOs from the region. Mm. Latin Americans who go to the US typically aren't incorporated in their local country, they'll, they'll incorporate outside. 